Now, the big, loud sound systems which you hear during carnivals and reggae concerts have got history. History worth preserving, according to a fan from London who's created an archive to keep some great sounds alive, he hopes, forever. Ashish Joshi has created an online archive. He's been telling us about it and playing us some reggae. My bonds, my bonds on my bond street. My old school flows in old street. Keep my highs and their lows up in hard step. My project and my mission and my passion is to preserve the history of the UK reggae sound system. A Java, the sound will crucial. I think the London reggae sound systems such as Java Nuclear Power and others have influenced artists of the modern day like Stormzy and kick-started other genres of music. Well, I've collected um, hundreds of videos and audios from the 1980s and the early 1990s and put them on my YouTube channel and also my audio channel on SoundCloud. This is Joe Knighty, the real dancehall legend on Java Nuclear Power Sound System. I'm Maka, I'm the selector of Java Nuclear Power. This is a basic stack of bass, mid and tops. That's how we set up the sound system. This culture came from the Caribbean. It's an inheritance that we carry on. I want the history to be preserved and how they played to be exposed to the younger generation. This music was exclusive, it was not commercial, it was underground. I'm just the player of the music. For me, because I'm the MC, we've got to write our lyrics. All of those MCs of today, it all comes from sound system. Maybe not in the same way we push it, but always you're gonna have people with sound system. We had such a good vibe. They traveled from the north, from the south, from the east, and they came to London Carnival. Just to hear the sound. Just to hear us. These sound systems were pioneers. They brought so much joy to the masses. But sadly, these pioneers, a lot of them have not been recognized. Some have died penniless. Some have passed away without any recognition. Some are still around, but not been given their dues. These audios, these videos are essential to highlight how these sound systems play. They're like a time capsule, so you can be transported back to 83, 84, 1989, or whatever date, and you can hear and you can see how the sound systems play, the crowd response, and hear some rare reggae music. I'm hoping that these sound systems will build a new fan base from the youth of today.